I'm sorry. Uh, the roads have been absolute murder out there. Um, it's all to do with overcrowded Britain. But then again, yeah. that's yeah. Yeah. I, uh, And being late, I'm reminded of a story of the bloke that lives in Milton Keynes. And he goes home every night up the motorway and he's always home on time. And one night he's not there and his wife's a bit worried and she's making dinner. And she hears on the local radio that the horrendous problems on the M1. There's a car headed the wrong way up the carriage. <laughs> anyway, he gets home and he's absolutely bathed in sweat and really, really looking stressed. She says, my darling, it must have been awful. I hear somebody was headed the wrong way up the M1. He said, oh no, there were hundreds of them. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that's, that is my excuse. Look, I, I, I think there is going to be a rare outbreak of common sense that's going to take place on yes. Tuesday. Yes. Um, yes. When even the independent newspaper, who were quite supportive of the smoking ban four years ago, said they could only find one person in the whole of Australia, Stanley Stratford, who thought it was a good idea, uh, then I would have thought... Uh, who was that, Mr Bartlett? Well, he was the great ghastly Mr Bartlett. It was Bartlett, the poison so dwarf. Uh, but I, no, I do feel very strongly that this <laughs> issue actually <laughs> isn't about smoking. <laughs> it's got to do with what kind of country do we actually want yes. to live in. And I think that we are the most... Here, here. We are the most... Um, over photographed, CCTV, <laughs> yeah. speed camera um, country, certainly in the whole of Europe. Um, and, and this proposal, if they get away with it here in Stony Stratford, then goodness knows where it will end. The, the Local Government Act has given local councils through bylaws Why much more ability Europe, to do anyway? these things. That's fine, but they've got to use that power responsibly. We so can always... I want a campaign, but the smoking ban we've got to be reversed. I want pubs to have the ability to have yes, yes, yes. 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 What we need to do, what we need to do is not be complacent between now and next Tuesday to keep the pressure up to make sure that that meeting hall and outside are surrounded by hundreds of people sure who believe be. in the concept of liberty. Um, let's get a big victory and let's use the victory and the publicity that it gathers to try and get the ban as it is reversed. You know, yes. in Germany, in three northern states, they've reversed the ban. Go to Hamburg now and, you know, restaurants have got separate smoking rooms and all the yes. rest of it. Hitler died 70 years ago. In the uh, Netherlands, <laughs> yeah. in Denmark, you know, proprietor owned businesses can allocate whether get it's smoking or non smoking <laughs> services. So, look, we've got a chance here, I think. I said, without being complacent, to score a blow for freedom on Tuesday, let's move to it. Thank you.